Guys, today's kind of a big deal. Today, we get the last memory in the game. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, I like to look at the, uh, the, the geoglyph and then kind of decide, you know, make a, an educated guess on exactly what, uh, it's going to entail. And I have a really strong feeling, guys, this one might entail something to do with the Master Sword. Just a sneaking suspicion, you know? I just get the idea that it might do that. And it was really easy to find. Guys, this is actually really sad. Oh. How special. <laughs> On the last memory, we're blessed by the gods of space? Thanks, Mario Galaxy. Rosalina, <laughs> I've always loved you. Um, yeah, this is a little sad to me, because, uh, the memories is something I really look forward to, and this is the last one, you know, that has to do with the geoglyph. Typically, we do get to see, like, a lot of, like, cutscenery around the, um, you know, the, uh, the phenomena and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, this is the last memory from a geoglyph. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> What? <laughs> and without further ado, let's jump in. managed to restrain him somehow. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. Hey, it made it! How is the Master Sword? You're telling me that Link is safe? And my battery is low? You traveled through time to find me and recover your strength. Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. We will finally stop him. To become an immortal dragon. God is damn it. To lose yep. Himself. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I have chills. I'll be forever changed. God damn it. Must 
find me. Oh, dude. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Figured as much. Fucking hell! How, though? What'd she do? Link, you must f I'm about to stab this fucker through my head. And I might just fly around crying all over the place. Okay. Hello? Hi! God damn, dude! Huh? Oh, thank god. Dude, I was fucking thirsty. Why there? We were literally just there. What's this? What's happening? Okay. Okay. Dude. I... I don't want to be like, hey, I called it, guys. Because I'm sure literally everybody did. You know? Ah! <laughs> fucking hell, dude. Oh, God. All right. Sure. I guess we're needed somewhere else. Why here? Also, how did you... Oh. Oh, I was so thirsty. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> Way to ruin the mystique of the moment. Dude, there's a Korok standing back there and that ruins the mystique more than me trying to sip the tear, okay? Dude, we're just going. We're just going. Okay? Oh, I'm spooked, dude. I don't know what the fuck. She's gonna stab herself in the goddamn noggin. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Minoru, I'm counting on you. a sword for you. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself.
Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Finally, the truth. God damn, dude! God damn! Here's another tear! Fuck me! Hey, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry about climbing all over your back! I... I didn't really mean anything by it. God damn, dude! Hey. Yoink! Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> like, wow! I mean, you knew it was coming! We all did! Oh, but that's so fucking cool! Huh. And with that, that seems like the memories are done. I could have, you know, spent the next 10 episodes and then did the. Oh, hey! Your shadow's kind of freaking me the fuck out, not gonna lie! Look at that. This is the best time to get a picture of the light dragon. Don't even fuck with me. This is the. <laughs> I was wrong. I was wrong. Ah, you know what? We always have this in thumbnail form. This is a special occasion. We'll leave it for now. God damn, dude! Oh, I mean... Duh, right? Duh! Literally from memory three, I want to say? We knew what was going to fucking happen. So obvious. But to watch it still happen is fucking bonkers! <laughs> Dude, imagine if that fucking hit the light dragon. Oh! <laughs> Would've been really funny. Oh my god, okay. Light dragon. Or Zelda. I think we're gonna wait, and we're gonna see you again in another 10 episodes. The fuck is going on, guys? Have a little respect. I just found out my girlfriend is a giant sky slug. For fuck's sake. <laughs> anyway, fuck, dude. Oh, you knew it was coming. Oh, it's so good, though. It's so good. Honestly, got chills and tears, baby. Had a few chills, and I had a few tears of the kingdom. God, it was good, though. We had a fucking fun time. That's the end of the Let's Play, though. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> I'm not done with this shit. We still got more to do. Uh, for the rest of this episode, like, what the fuck do we follow that with? Maybe killing this piece of shit, hello? You're kind of ruining a fucking moment. Go to hell. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh... Oh, okay. Um, I kind of want to possibly start the approach of, uh of the Gerudo arc. I feel like that's probably a good idea. Cause uh, I'm finally- Ah! You piece of shit! I'm finally ready to do the Gerudo arc. Um, and now that, you know, this is all wrapped up. God damn. Um, okay. I say we go do exactly that then. You know, what's stopping us? Not a whole lot of fucking anything. Dude, our map is completely decked out with all the memories now. When we need to find the next memory, guys, it's gonna be obvious where it is. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, to the tower, I guess. Bye, Zelda. I'll see you soon! Oh, is it cold here? Yikes, dude, I... I'm a little frigid child, man. Fuck me. It's about to get real hot, though, right? I mean, that's the idea behind the phenomena here, is it's, it's hot and it's cold. It's kind of Katy Perry's region right now, I think. Is the idea? We have not set foot in the desert yet. Like, we've gone as far as that, and that's the end of it, you know?
but that's that's it. Do they really fall in a diagonal like that? I mean, the answer is yes. I could see it happening right this second. Dude, that's so cool to watch. <laughs> Neat. I like it. Uh, something coming out of that? Oh, <laughs> it's just a little awkward to watch. Yikes, bro. You're kind of freaking me the fuck out. Um, yeah, I feel like for the rest of this episode, I'm going to be kind of lost for words, you know? I'm just, uh, I'm just, it's so bittersweet. I'm a little sad. I'm a little sad. I kind of want the memories to last forever, you know? And it's sad that they won't. Also, why am I blessed today with two star fragments? Kind of insane, if you ask me. Let's do a fucking shrine. It's been a bit. Just walked into a wall. Yay! A shrine to take my mind off of it. Hidden metal! Turakamic shrine! What's so fucking hidden about your metal, huh? Because so far, honestly, not seeing any kind of evidence that this is hidden at all. Yeah, you bastard. That was an insanely hard puzzle. Holy shit ass. Is this a two-handed weapon? <laughs> Dude, these look so stupid. Like, when there's a two-handed weapon that's just not to scale with what you'd expect from a two-handed weapon, I just feel like a little bitch boy. I'm a little bitch guy, you know? So sad to see it. What is this gonna do for me? There we go. I got it. You think I'm not gonna understand that I gotta make the balls swing, dude? I make my balls swing every day and voluntarily while I walk because they're so fucking massive. I got massive fucking balls, guys. <laughs> Massive schlong donkaroos, okay? <laughs> Fucking hell. Ah. Uh, the next one. Yes. I'm just gonna drape you over this. Drape and Josh. That doesn't really do anything for me. Um, is there, like, by chance, just like another little metal bit just kind of chilling around? Possibly on the top of this? Wait, what? Eh, how do I... I get over there. Oh, what? These things move? Oh, that's news to me. I just kind of okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, dude, I'm an idiot. It's been so long since I fucking reversed a gear, you know? You can't even fucking blame me. I mean, I guess you can. Kind of a big dumb of me. Wait, really? Where's the metal? What am I misunderstanding? Also, what's I don't want this. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's actually a shield in here that's worse. By some chance. What's the idea? Why is this worse? Oh, it just doesn't have as good shield guard up? I honestly didn't know that there was much variation of that. I kind of thought that uh, shield guard up would just make it do, you know. Okay, that's death. Is this death? Or is this where I find my metal? It's death. <laughs> It's too late to recall. That's fine. What did I lose? Half a fucking arm? I don't give a shit, brother. Yeah, what's the idea? Do I just have to, um... Do I just have to do my own... My own metal boy? Because I probably have my own... A metal boy I could use. Like, is this long enough? I feel like this is probably not what it wants. Because if you don't have something that's long enough for this... You know? What the fuck? Chill, brother Christ! That's gonna detach. Um... Does that... Just detach. Please detach. Please detach. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it manually. That's fine. This does actually electric the pole. Ah. Uh... This can't glue to this, right? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know the answer to this puzzle, but this is my answer. Let me know what I did wrong in the comments down below. Meanwhile, I won't give a fuck. Bye. <laughs> I don't care about that sword, but the game definitely didn't expect me to have a sword. Like, it can't just bank on the fact that you're going to have a, a piece of shit 
two-handed sword that's just long enough to do that. Also, we could get another heart. Also, I counted in editing. I think we're about to start our second row. The only problem with this, though, is I'm probably gonna forget to get my heart because I'm not going there right now. Um, I kind of want to maybe go finish the map, you know? I feel like episode 160 is a good point to just start tying up a bunch of loose ends. Like, if it's anything like the last game, the, the area that's north of us right now is not going to have that much of interest there. You know what I mean? Like, there's not going to be a whole lot that's bringing us to that region anyway. Have I not found this stable? Oh. I guess I've just never discovered this stable. What up, Pen? Why would she do this? Hey, uh, by the way, I found Zelda. We don't have to look for her anymore. She's a sky tentacle. <laughs> right? Never would have guessed. <laughs> How do you make love to a sky tentacle? I don't fucking know what the hell to do with my life. What the hell's this? Oh, Rusty Claymore? Don't mind if I do. Holy shit. I love Rusty Claymores. That's why I left the last one in a goddamn shrine. What up, dude? Oh, do you want to actually take me somewhere for once in my goddamn life, dog? Like, I feel like the dogs in this game, they, they've been on strike the entire game now. They just don't care anymore. Really should have sorted this differently, huh? What an idiot. Hey, take me somewhere. I brandish my meat for you. Take me somewhere. What an idiot! Most dogs' sense of smell would make them follow the fucking scent all the way to the, the meat, buddy. But you... are an idiot. I love you, though. If there was a pet button, I'd pet the fuck of you. Do you need more? Or are you just gonna waste my meat? Don't waste my meat. There are starving dogs in Africa. What is the fuck? <laughs> I got a goddamn double weed, baby. Yes. <laughs> you want more? Okay, I'm starting to think that this dog is just gonna fucking bleed me dry of my meat. Eat it. And then take me somewhere that has like a little trash. Okay? Oh my god, this guy. This guy. I honestly thought that you would have more relevance in like episode 9 of the series. But no. He just wants me to Okay, you know what? We're done. Me and the me and the dog's friendship is what the fuck? <laughs> Hey, uh, the fuck's going on in here? How will I ever clean this up? Brother, say no more. I got you. I got you. I just need one of those. Yeah, one of these. Clean in a jiffy. Clean in a jiffy. I got you, brother. That fix your problem. <laughs> you good? Wow, what? I fixed it. You want to pay me? Oh, uh, good job making it in here. I mean, it's impressive that you came all this way, but the stable has closed its doors for good. Thanks to this extreme weather, almost no one rides through here. We get very few visitors of any sort. Making things worse, Princess Zelda gave the order that everyone had to stay away from our well. But we need that water, not to mention the mushrooms that grow inside. It's only temporary. It'll help, she said. I'll be right back to fix it, she said. And then she became a sky tentacle. Don't worry about that. The sadness just gets to me sometimes. Anyway, if you're looking for a place to rest, I recommend Karakara Bazaar. Just head out of your turn west. Keep for going for a while and then you'll find it. It's a bit of a hike, but if you can find some transportation at the desert's entrance, you can get there in no time. As for me, I've got a mountain of junk to clear out, so I'll get back to it. Can't leave a mess when I close things down. Just, but just how am I going to deal with all this stuff? Oh no. Duck! <laughs> yeah, it's fucking dangerous, dude, you idiot. It's like a box, okay? Anyway, it's all gone. Love you. I helped. Give me a reward. Make me feel validated. Sorry, but I need to focus on cleaning this place up for now. Oh, huh? Oh, the junk is just gone? 
I wasn't sure what you were up to, truth be told, when you started bombing the place. I thought you were some kind of fucking terrorist. But clearly it was all part of a masterfully we're removing that junk. You saved me. Thank you. I sort of let the junk pile build and build until it blocked the entrance, which was a real problem. There's still some work to be done, but thanks to you, I can get out of this place. Sorry, I've been trying to start my stopwatch again because I just realized it's been off since the shrine, so I've been reading this guy's text really poorly. <laughs> that said, given that I'm wearing the uniform and the stable's still standing, would you be my oh. final customer? Okay. Welcome to Gerudo Canyon Stable, you sir. I have the honor of being the very last guest this stable will ever have. <laughs> and that, dear customer, deserves commemoration in the form of... Pony <laughs> Pony. <laughs> the last point point I'll give. It appears to be the end of my time as a stable land. <laughs> I'm unemployed. It's been a pleasure, sir. As for me, I guess I'll just crawl into a fucking box. Now then, still have a little more junk to clear away, so I better get back to it. Thank you for your help. Can I have the, uh, <gasps> what's happening? Huh? Oh, I forgot about those. The Stable Association sent us those frames a while back. They just sort of got buried under all the junk. Okay. We just take off the wrapping. For what? Aren't you packing them? They're even nicer than I thought. Maybe a little art on these walls would be nice, just so the Stable's final days don't have to be so lonely. Yeah, because art will keep you company. Question mark? God, this guy, am I right? Holy shit, what the fuck? You're not having those baked apples, you son of a bitch, okay? You owe me like three steaks. Okay, you're too cute. I take it back. You can have the steaks. Hi. Hi. Thank you for helping with the cleaning. We're close, so obviously we can't offer you lodging, but you're welcome to shelter from the weather in here. Yep. Just stand around passing the time until the weather clears. <laughs> Come on, Piaf. You could have just left at least one bit out. Oh, well. Ah. Uh. Ah. Ah, oh, Link! Has that empty frame caught your eye? Yeah, I guess. You kind of brought attention to it, so... Sure. Mm -hmm. I was so focused on cleaning up, I completely forgot about these frames the Stable Association sent me. I owe this stable a lot, after all the good years it's given me. I'd like to put up something nice so it can go out in style. You know, I heard an interesting story from a Rito Traveler who stopped by ah. here once. There's this local attraction nearby, Spectacle Rock. Just check your map, the place is famous. And this traveler told me that while they were flying over Spectacle Rock, they glanced down and saw it smiling. <laughs> That's what I want to frame. What could be better than sending the stable off with a smile? <laughs> it's just a shame that I can't fly to capture the view myself. <sighs> but if I had even a picture of the smiling Spectacle Rock, I should copy it. I could copy it for this frame and cheer up things around here. Holy shit, I wish I could fucking read English. What about this one? Uh. Oh, did that one also pique your interest, you crazy fuck? Why wouldn't it? Sure. Hmm. It turns out the stable is you sent me two frames by mistake. Kind of ironic, given we're about to close. But far be it from me to look a gift horse in the mouth. I might as well use the other frame to bid the stable farewell in style. I think I might actually set it on fire and watch the entire stable burn down because just fuck it, right? I'm out of a job! And I think a picture of the giant sword stuck in a peak in Gerudo Highlands is the neat goodbye this stable deserves. It's just northwest of here, but I won't be able to go to see it. I have cleaning to do, I'll keep saying. Besides, it's cold in the Gerudo Highlands. Even a copied picture of the giant sword would liven up this place. Sure, buddy, I'm heading that way anyway. Probably. Okay, now you're all clean. I didn't notice those two. Be a shame if I slipped and fell. Into this well! This is embarrassing. Hi, Pen. What up? Oh, ho, ho! Hello there, partner. What's brought you all the way out here? I heard that visitor stopping, stopped coming to this stable, so this place had to shut down, but here you are! The temperature is really scorching my feathers. Just look at you, kid. Cool, calm, and collected. I've come to the stable because my sources were chirping about a problem with the well here. Actually, they say Princess Zelda caused this problem. She shut down this well and declared it off limits. But without its water, the stable couldn't keep travelers, horses, or the workers refreshed. The well also provided a steady supply of mushrooms to folks here. 
So why'd the princess want everyone to stay away from it? That's the big question. What we're short on is answers. The owner, who's stuck here, is just as puzzled as anyone else. And I can't weasel down the well to see what she was so concerned about. My ways are too wide. Ugh. I wish there was some way we could get more details, but seems like the deadest of dead ends to me. Now really, I will be the one to go into the well. So long. So long. So long. <laughs> Why can't you fall down the well if you're locked on? This is really awkward. So, so long. So long. Yeah, let's go have this fish. This fish is mine. Do I want these? Like, honestly, they were like, peddled to me initially as like something really rare, but they're in like every fucking cave. You know? And also, I don't really need to do that. You feel me? That being... Glow. <laughs> Sorry, I've been a little bit more concerned about making a fucking sick hammer that I wasn't even thinking um, about what I was saying. Oh! Well, 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 am I right? Oh, I gotta go this way for no particular reason. Oh, fucking god damn it! It's fine. It shouldn't die! Oh, I missed. <laughs> Okay, this is kind of actually a little bit of a uh, liability when I'm using it standing in needy fucking water, Bryson. You, you, you. Stop. You lost privilege of swinging your head around, okay? The fuck? You think Metallica's just blaring or something? Yeah, bastard. Hey, go fucking die. Go fucking die. Like, preferably over there. Dude, my arrow count is so sick! <laughs> Like, I don't know, dude. I definitely i am gonna have, like, over a thousand arrows by the end of this Let's Play. Yeah! Tactical dive! <laughs> Please perish. Please perish. Okay, this is... You know what? Actually, um... Give me a second. You think you're all safe over there in the water, huh? Look at you. Top of the town. No lo No longer. <laughs> Eat shit, die, you bastard. Damn it! Okay, I thought I was far enough away. Turns out I'm an idiot. That's what I thought. <laughs> and you! What are you- I don't like the fact that they have fucking feet in this game, dude. It's so goddamn disgusting. Like, they're a disgusting creature to begin with, but at least before they were just an uncircumcised penis, you know? Now they're an uncircumcised penis with fucking legs. And I don't know how to feel about it. Please stop. Spit it out. You know you're gonna do it. Show me the tongue. Show me the tongue. You wanna lick me like a lollipop. I know you do. Yeah, Tulin's mad at you. Does this actually do damage? <laughs> Fuck off. Uh oh, I'm missing. Oh, am I using the shit? Oh, dicks. I was like, why is this not cutting him to shreds? <laughs> God damn. All right, yay, he's dead, and he's about to give me something that I absolutely don't want. Oh, what up, Tulin? You good? Just kinda, whoa, dude, this is sick! Of course I'm gonna find this weapon set out here. I feel like I've literally only found one Gerudo weapon this game so far. Neat. God, it'd be a shame if you got sniped! Think you're fooling me, you bastard? <laughs> oh, okay, you fooled me, you fooled me, fuck! Can I have all that back? If you know didn't just light it all on fucking fire? Sick. Hey, uh, chill. Chill out. Can you step out of the water? You're super scary in the water. I'll be down here. Oh, I wanted to go for a swim anyway. Thanks, buddy. You're just making my life a little easier. Haha. -ha. Stop existing. Dude, this guy down here is a problem. Jesus Christ! Does he only do that when he's, like, around water? I actually don't... I don't fight these guys enough to under- Dude, in my head, I told myself, it'll def- STOP! <laughs> it'll definitely be disabled by the time I get there, you know? Turns out it wasn't. Uh, hello? Yeah! Partner! I heard monsters down there! Are you okay? I'm fine. Yo! So, what'd you find in the well? Hmm. I don't understand what the fuck you just said, but I'm just gonna imagine that you said something along the lines of that there were monsters behind that pile of rocks. I can't help thinking the princess knew about that monster den. 
She must have had a barricade put up to seal away those creatures and protect everyone here. Now, why the princess didn't say so, that's a mystery. But maybe she wanted to keep any panic from spreading. Or maybe it was only a very temporary measure, but then she disappeared. Yep, a little speculation on my part, but that's gotta be the story here. What do you say? Holds up, right? Our job is to follow the facts, and that's where they take us. We've worked together to chase eight of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. You've really gotten the hang of things. You could probably get a full-time job at the paper if you wanted to. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Thanks. I'm gonna blow that all on fucking oh. arrows. Oh, that's right. Tracy had... Says, had, had, has had nothing but nice things to say about you, partner. And also, I had a stroke. Seems like there's a little extra something in your compensation this time around. No surprise there. Can I get the other piece of the armor? Can you can you put a good word in for me? Can you put a good bird in for me? <laughs> we needed to make some educated guesses with our story more than we'd normally do, but I'll stand by this piece. We know our princess, after all. She had to have everybody's safety in mind. I'll get to writing all of this up for the paper. You take care of yourself. Sapow! If you're up there and you see a sky worm, <laughs> tell her I said I miss her. I feel like I wasn't done in this. The game really wanted me to leave, but like there's definitely gotta be like a bubble frog in here, right? I guess not necessarily. Like, do these count as caves? I feel like not every well counts as like a cave but every cave has the bubble frog. You know what I mean? Like, what's back here? Boy, howdy, am I so glad I came back in here. This really made my day, seeing all of these chill shrooms. I just kind of wish that I... Oh, there's like stamina shrooms over there too. I just kind of wish like I took like a quick look around here before I got raptured out because I probably would not have come back for this, honestly. But like, hey, maybe it's a silver lining that I did because now I could cook some seriously sick meals. Where the fuck am I going? Hello? Wear it? Oh, I guess I did move kind of far in there, huh? Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this episode, please give it a like. If you want to subscribe to Father Remainer Let's Play, please do so. Also, consider supporting me over on Patreon. Links for everything I just mentioned in the description down below. As always, thanks again for watching. What an episode, dude! The truth is finally revealed, though. And it's, you know, it's about exactly what we expected, but it doesn't make it any... I think this dog wants to have sex with me, I gotta go.